There's a lot of ancient history here of cultures using colostrum, bovine colostrum, for many thousands of years in the human diet. But when did modern science catch up with it? What does the modern science say? Is there any credible scientific data to back up what I'm saying? Yes, there is. Because in 1799, a scientist named Christoph Wilhelm Hufland, it's fun to say, found a direct correlation between the consumption of colostrum and the healthy growth and development of young calves, okay? This was kind of that first association in the Western world showing like, oh, hey, if I give my baby colostrum, they will grow up to be better protected from colds and flus and they'll grow up bigger and stronger. That's when he made that first association in 1799. But it wasn't until much more recently, until the 1920s, that we learned the science behind why bovine colostrum is beneficial for humans. Now, I personally think it's pretty cool to know that humans have been consuming colostrum, bovine colostrum, for many thousands of years before this moment. Because until 1920, we didn't have any of the science that showed the benefits that I'm about to tell you. Humans just consumed it because they knew it was gonna help them. But at some point throughout our Western history, we have forgotten that food is powerful, that food is medicine, that food is healing. We've replaced that with pharmacology and pharmaceutical drugs, but food. I love when modern science finally catches up with ancient wisdom because this is something that humans have known for a long time. Now we finally have modern day science that shows why. So what does the modern science say about colostrum? Well, there's been a ton of research dedicated to bovine colostrum just within the past one to two decades alone. And much of that research has found colostrum improves the immune system, gut issues like irritable bowel disease, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, which I'm about to talk about, seasonal allergies, autoimmune issues like skin, digestive, joint pain, athletic recovery and performance. I love that. I wish I would have known about this in my college athlete days and so much more. But if you're like me, you want to see the proof. What's the proof, Craig? Craig, tell me the science. Well, what do the studies actually say? Now, in regards to colostrum improving inflammation and the immune system, there was a 12-week randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial published in the journal Nutrients that included 66 older adults. Now, when I say randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial, you don't need to know what that means. Just know that this is the gold standard of study that can prove cause and effect. It isolates out all other variables except just this one, and it can prove that this one intervention proved cause and effect, okay? Now, of those 66 older adults, 33 of them, so half were given a powdered bovine colostrum supplement twice daily, and the other half were given just regular skim milk twice daily. Throughout those 12 weeks, each participant had several immune and inflammatory biomarkers tested through their blood samples. This is wild. At the end of the study, authors concluded by saying, quote, colostrum reduced several pro-inflammatory markers, such as the C-reactive protein, interleukin-6, and TNF-alpha. Consuming more bovine colostrum also improved the immune function in older adults. These findings suggest that bovine colostrum has the potential to be used as one of the nutraceutical foods in promoting healthy and successful aging." End quote. That is incredible. It improved inflammatory markers. It improved healthful aging in older adults. This was just a 12-week trial, this one intervention. Now, if you're anything like me, I was a former college athlete. I want to know what colostrum can do for athletic performance and muscle growth. Let's check this out. In an eight week randomized control trial, healthy men and women athletes were randomly assigned to receive either whey protein or bovine colostrum, each 20 grams a day in powdered form. Each participant did the same workouts three times per week. So not a ton. And it was involving both aerobic and heavy resistance training. So cardio, and strength training. At the end of the eight weeks, two months, researchers found as expected, the whey protein group had an increase in total body weight. But unexpectedly, the researchers also found that the colostrum group had a much higher increase in bone-free lean body mass, meaning the colostrum group put on more muscle than the whey protein group. That is unheard of. How could colostrum cause more muscle growth in the individuals doing the same workouts, same healthy men and women, they just got more muscle mass. Now, why did this occur? Well, the researchers believe it's due to its abnormally high amounts of IGF-1 content. This is insulin-like growth factor. Now, remember at the beginning of this video when I mentioned all of the nutrients that colostrum is rich in, it is meant to grow an infant, a few day old infant, a calf or a human. IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor one, 
This is a natural hormone that increases the amount of growth hormone in our bodies. So if you're somebody out there looking to perform better, grow in strength, put on muscle mass, and we know that muscle mass is the number one predictor of longevity. This is super important for older adults as they start losing muscle and develop sarcopenia. Along with a few days of weight training and aerobic training, taking colostrum has been shown to help growth hormone and grow muscle mass in our body, according to this study. But now, what about digestive issues like constipation, diarrhea, and bloating? You might be somebody out there that is really struggling with constipation, diarrhea, bloating, irritable bowel disease maybe. Maybe you were diagnosed with Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. Well, there's some science here that I'm about to present that shows that colostrum can really help with that. Now, there's a lot of other things that we'll talk about in future videos to come that can help with all these digestive issues. But just in regards to colostrum, what does the science say? Involving diarrhea, in one meta-analysis of five randomized controlled trials involving 324 children who had chronic diarrhea. Now, a meta-analysis, if you don't know, this is a study of studies. It gets rid of the worst studies and it includes only usually very tight parameters so that way you get the best of the best. And now this is including five randomized controlled trials that can show cause and effect. So this is a very high-end elite gold standard study of studies. Now this one meta-analysis that included five randomized controlled trials involving 324 children who had chronic long-term diarrhea. When compared to a placebo group, researchers found bovine colostrum improved the children's stool frequency and occurrence of diarrhea. It's pretty, pretty impressive just by adding colostrum. Another randomized controlled trial. It was conducted on 160 children with acute diarrhea. So this is short-term diarrhea. Half received bovine colostrum and the other half received the typical standard of care, you know, typical medical treatment. The results, the bovine colostrum group showed reduced frequency of vomiting and diarrhea after 48 hours when compared to the control group. This was acute, remember, this is acute diarrhea. So this was sudden onset diarrhea. I don't think I've ever said that term before in my life, sudden onset diarrhea. But the results, here's the crazy thing. None of the children in the colostrum group had any diarrhea compared to the control group where 13% of the children still had diarrhea. Our body has a deep ancestral intelligence with these traditional foods. And those are typically the foods that humans should be eating. And there's a lot we don't know, but this science showed that when these children consumed powdered bovine colostrum after one week, all their diarrhea symptoms resolved. Now, these studies were in children, but what about adults? What about adults and diarrhea, okay? Well, there was a pretty cool randomized controlled trial involving 90 healthy adults. Half were given bovine colostrum three times per day, and the other half were given a placebo. After three days, each group was given, this is, this is where it gets pretty wild. Each group was purposely given a solution that contained a form of E. coli. This is the most common cause of traveler's diarrhea, okay? The researchers found that only one person, 7% in the colostrum group got diarrhea. Colostrum prevented it. Whereas 73%, 11 people, still got diarrhea in the placebo group. It's pretty powerful. Now, staying with the digestive issues, what about inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's and ulcerative colitis? This is irritable bowel disease. Can colostrum help with that? Well, in a randomized controlled trial involving patients with severe distal colitis, half were given bovine colostrum enemas, the other half were given a saline solution with the pharmaceutical drug. After the four week study, researchers found the colostrum group had a reduction in symptoms, whereas the drug group had worse symptoms. They took the drug, but the colostrum group was the only group to improve. This is with individuals with irritable bowel disease. And lastly, there's been a host of studies that have shown that taking colostrum can help with seasonal allergies. Not just seasonal allergies, but also food allergies and intolerances. This is something that is an emerging field of research, but there's been a host of evidence showing that if you take a little bit of colostrum every day, you can potentially improve your food allergies or intolerances.